the, the, the situation that uh, developed in, in May regarding to the test that was carried out by the South Sudan Bureau of Standards, where it was found uh, some of the consignment had high level of aflatoxin, uh, was finally resolved after the two Bureau of Standards, the business community sat down and said, look, it was also found out some of these people were really not buying from uh, from registered grain producers, they were just picking from the market, so it was resolved. Uh, before these grains cross into South Sudan, uh, the, the Uganda Bureau of Standards will have to satisfy them that uh, they pass the quality and therefore will have no problem. And uh, that has been the agreement, and since then nothing has been happening. Uh, the trade is moving well. And uh, it's really we want to move it from uh, its current $600 million to a billion dollars. Uh, that, that is possible. And we know when uh, we started trading after the end of the conflict in northern Uganda about 17 years ago, our both economies in South Sudan and Uganda have improved. So we are urging uh, the business community to do ethical business. Uh, you, you sell the right uh, goods of uh, good quality. And uh, both government in South Sudan and in Uganda will ensure security because security is a very important element of uh, doing business because nobody would go to a war-affected place to run businesses. There's been a uh, uh, speculation on, on social media that there was an attack on the Nimuli Post, which is wrong. Uh, that uh, group, that Joint Command Council doesn't exist and they don't have any capacity. It is just a propaganda war. Uh, to cause economic shock. Uh, so nobody should take them seriously, but the government is also trying to find out who they are and they will have to be prosecuted for creating very such uh, negative propaganda against the Republic of South Sudan.